This is the first time that we've had Iftar in the People's House. Let's stand up and let's clap it up for Representative Muhammad. Marku Gore say Tarik the Gobolko Haya ya Kulan Afro Loguka Te Akal Kaloga at Rimia Gobol Kane State Houska. Wahana Kulanka Afruka Sue Bebulu Hiliban Ismail Mohammed or the Wankuso Bahai Hafadas at the Hade Columbus. Hilibanka ya Kulanka Afruka Kuasume did you I study Makaladu and no Muslimino Badan. Wahana Kapeka Hamasuli Hilal Kaladuanka Haya Dola the Gobolka. E Haldor Kasurde Musliminta. So Malida Wahadanko the Afruka Lugu Asumi Ganasatu Hugami Yardi Mets. سيين يا قيبها بلشدا دمان داد كي كاها اللي ايا اسكورا اي اهمية دا اي لادا هاي ان لاتيحق اليو كلدونا شاهد ديما هيا دقامة دا اسلام مركانا اي وحبان تا هاي تلابا دا حل دمان اسماعيلو بلا باي تاس او سبب تاي ان اذان كسلاة دا مقربكا لوغا دا واقا قدها حارون تان دولة دا قبل قوها يو او اه حارون كم دا حارون ها فعوين اي مرايكن كا اي وليبا ان سلاة دا مقربكا سيجا معا لوغو تو كدي وحيا هيد مناسبة دون والبسامين كلا هاي تاسور لغو سواف ميري أبا المرين لغو دون سيانا بدون محمد حوش أشكر ولغو أبا المرين يدور كيسا دي قبل شادة يدن كدقنكا مناسبة دين وحيو دعدي سيدتان In organizing this iftar at the state house we wanted to make it an sort of an accessible celebration welcoming people of all faiths and backgrounds to share in community reflection and learning about one another uh, while Ramadan is unique in many ways, we see similarities among other faiths. In the Christian tradition, for example, the Gospel of Matthew chapter 6, verse 8, teaches that fasting is a pious deed alongside prayer and thanksgiving, and, will, and it will bring flowers closer to God. Ramadan often overlaps with the practice of Lent in the 40 days leading to the Easter. In this time, many Christian, Christians practice a partial fast, swaying off certain foods or habits in order to find better discipline and sort of find a sense of uh, purification. Similarly, Ramadan allows Muslims time during fasting to allow, to sort of thank God and be grateful for the blessings that we have, but also to take an opportunity to sort of get out of the daily struggles and the you know, trials and tribulations, because we're all busy with our daily lives, and too often we forget that we do, we do want to maintain a relationship with God and with Allah, and we forget to sort of take a step back and find ourselves. Because we're also busy with our schedules, with our sort of, uh, you know, materialistic things that we're valuing. So I appreciate Seder, I appreciate Ramadan, Easter, all these different events really give all these communities an opportunity to sort of take a step back and really look within. So I appreciate them for all they do. And I want to, in the Jewish faith, for example, we have Yom Kabur serves as a day of fasting for the Jewish people to sort of reorient themselves in their actions and faith. Separately, during this time of year, many Jewish people celebrate Passover and abstain from sort of leavened bread to better connect with the Israelites who could not, could not let their bread rise when they were forced out of Egypt. And uh, uh, Leader Russo and I, and I believe Representative Samani and Abdullah, he took part in Representative Isaacson's setter, and it's amazing the level of sort of the level of understanding it gives you, understanding obviously the, the history of the Jewish population and the fact that they were slaves in Egypt and sort of that commonality and understanding that despite all the progress that we've made, despite the hardships, we've made a lot of good progress and to be able to host an iftar and a sitter uh, in two adjacent days is pretty historical achievement, I think. So, uh, you know, I really appreciate Rob Isaacson for his program. And during this program, we hope to provide reflection on the sort of the similarities of the tradition and sharing the meaning of celebration of Ramadan. The representative uh, Muhammad Ismail have already spoken much uh, to extent of uh, what Ramadan is and how fasting, a season of like, you know, abstaining for certain acts of eating, drinking, or also some other uh, spiritual thing and physical, you know, uh, breaks that we take or we abstain from uh, are also similar to other faith traditions as well. In the Holy Book Quran, which is a book just like Bible and Torah, uh, which respectively for uh, the Christian and the uh, most uh, Jewish uh, uh, fellow humans, uh, we also have a book called Quran, which, is revealed, which was revealed to Prophet Muhammad in Arabic. And the essence of uh, Ramadan is described by God uh, that you know, fasting was prescribed to other nations as well and other religions as well prior to the Muslims. So the whole idea was through, uh, through practice of fasting, we all become spiritual and more 
conscious of God's presence in our life. And this 29 or 30 days of fasting in the month of Ramadan, which follows a lunar cycle, uh, is basically the whole idea. Now, one can say that, you know, I'm abstaining from eating, drinking, and my spousal relationship, and many other acts which are kind of you know, permissible during the normal times. Uh, they are kind of like, you know, prohibitive uh, during the time of fasting. Uh, but God does not really want us to fast to, you know, get into a Weight Watch program or, you know, just, just to, you know, starve ourselves from dawn to dust. The idea is more spiritual. The idea is that you make a connection with God, build your relationship with God, and be mindful of His presence in your life on every moment of, of, of your day-to-day -day routines, plus you build a connection with your common and fellow human beings. And the relationship actually goes from your kinship into your community, into your friend circle, and then kind of, you know, build in that direction. Uh, God tells us that, you know, or according to the sunnah of our prophet, Muhammad, peace be upon him, that, uh, you know, all humans are, like, you know, created on the same concept of God's philosophy, and we are created differently, so we and his diversity that is left in human race is intentional by God, and it is a reason for us to think and, you know, look into that opportunity of getting connected with others rather than uh, making diver our diversity diversity of color, race, creed, as a reason for discrimination. And there are values that you share with many of us who are not uh, from the Muslim community, uh, many of those uh, of us who are outside of your religion that makes us all better as a whole and better as an entire community. So community is one of the biggest reasons that we are here tonight. After a long day of fasting and looking inward and reflection, you surround yourself with friends and family to break the fast and to pray. And, um, you know, as a, as a mom of three kids uh, who has a very busy life, I, it's so important when we have these opportunities to gather with those that we love and those in our community around us. Um, I'm grateful to represent uh, to uh, Representative Muhammad again, uh, as well as uh, many of our other members who are here tonight to help celebrate and many of our elected officials who are here to celebrate. Um, and I'm grateful for all of you for allowing me and all of us to be part of your celebration, your faith this evening, and part of your community uh, as well. So thank you and Ramadan Kareem. Uh, this is the first time that we've had Iftar in the People's House. Let's stand up and let's clap it up for Representative Muhammad. This is a powerful moment. This is a powerful moment for our community. You know, I have a speech here and I'm gonna read some of it, but I gotta say, it is good to be in the State House with two of the most finest legislators, Manur Abdullahi and Ismail Muhammad. Without them, this wouldn't happen. And I think about that moment, right, about voices that are not a part of the fabric that makes Ohio great in this body. If they were not here, this would not happen. And so today I'm reminded that we have to speak as if when our, even when our voice shakes, that we must fight to make sure that all communities are reflected in the people's house and that we do everything possible to build an Ohio that truly brings all of us together. Good evening. Uh, my name is Dontavious Darrows. I just so happen to be a legislator representing House District 1. Thank you for being in my district today. Um, I represent all of downtown Columbus, uh, Bexley, Berwick, Franklinton, all of Southside, a uh, little bit of Linden, Re Representative uh, Muhammad took most of Linden, uh, but Linden up to 11th, uh, and uh, Milo Grogan, King Lincoln. And I think about that moment, you know, celebra celebrating with Representative Muhammad and knowing that these moments were going to happen because it wasn't just history that we were creating when he got into this space. It was a people whose voices were not heard in the halls of the State House finally being recognized. And that's 
what this moment I feel is all about. Ensuring that we are creating spaces of connection that truly build Ohio to be a better version of itself. Is the people's living room. And so the other night we celebrated a Seder dinner with the rabbi down the road and many of our Jewish uh, brothers and sisters. And on the 19th, we, we will have our own iftar dinner in the people's house. But that's one of the main tenets of democracy is representing everyone. And so tonight, it's a particularly special to be in this state house, which hasn't necessarily been known to represent all, to show and demonstrate that this is a new day in the state of Ohio. So happy to be here, so happy to represent my colleagues on Columbus City Council and to really show our support for, I've known Representative Muhammad for so many years and it was just so excited for him to be in this position um, and, and really to showcase the importance of representing all in this state house. So thank you so much. Happy Ramadan. It's great to be with you this evening. What dwells in my heart and head are mere words that have been said without any thought of it. I carry those bullet-filled phrases across my path to isolation. Temptations on feeding into revenge and consulting with the devil, elaborating together, never choosing to do better. I refuse to go down this path. I refuse to be easily swayed like a feather. I am stronger and I cannot listen to whomever is consumed on how I became so tender, but I won't easily surrender. Know that I am better. Know that my scorching hot flames won't turn away, even if the sun does not come out that day, even if my heart is filled with hatred, I will choose love all the way. Ramadan Mubarak. I am grateful for the invitation from Representative Ismail Mohammed to gather with you all. I thank him and his team for their hospitality and the opportunity to share some words with you. As a Christian, I am approaching the end of our season of Lent. It is a 40-day fast broken by the celebration of new life on Easter Sunday. This pattern of 40 days was set by Jesus when he went into the wilderness to prepare for his ministry of healing, working miracles, teaching us to love God with our hearts, minds, souls, and bodies, and to love our neighbors as ourselves, as well as his ministry of challenging the political and religious establishment, those who are marginalizing people with oppressive and corrupt leadership. Jesus needed the spiritual strength that comes from fasting in order to confront those powers. I thought of Brennan Manning, author of a book called The Ragamuffin Gospel, who said there are as many ways to pray as there are children of God. And I think in the Christian tradition, this is true of fasting. There is much diversity in the way different Christians from different traditions approach the season of Lent and approach the practice of fasting. Throughout my life, I've seen these seasons as a time to pick something up and to put something down. Pick up and put down. I've thought of you pick up those things that bring us closer to God, to people, to the planet. We put down those things that distract and distort our lives and detour us from our sacred calling to live in healed, whole, and holy relationships with all people. In my personal experience, sometimes this has meant putting down food and beverages. At other times, I've put down social media as part of a fast in other habits, in other hang-ups. And all of these various approaches feed and nourish the soul. One thing that I've been pondering during this holy month of Ramadan, during this time of Passover, in Easter, in Vesaki, in other traditions, is the idea that fasting and feasting bring us to the awe-inspiring intersection of science and faith. Science and faith are not at odds with one another. Rather, I believe that they harmonize, much like the teachings of our various religious traditions. Science and faith converge at fasting. Faith calls us to this discipline, and science teaches us how good it is for our bodies and our minds. 
The spiritual and physical benefits are many, and they leave us with a sense of meaning and wonder at the goodness, truth, and beauty of our different traditions. At this intersection of science and faith, Albert Einstein said, the most beautiful thing we can experience is the mysterious. I just want to remind all of us the last, no, I should say the first public speech Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, made. So this was the first public speech Prophet Muhammad made when he came to Medina. And this prophetic tradition is brought to us by a Jewish scholar, a rabbi, who lived and met Prophet Muhammad. So this was a universal message. This was a time when the level of Islamophobia was at the peak. So I'll say it in Arabic, and I will translate. So Prophet Muhammad said, Ayyuhan Nas, O people, O mankind. I love this word because this is a universal message. He didn't say, O Muslims or O Arabs. He said, O people. Because he was talking to a multi-religious, multicultural people. He was addressing the Christians. He was addressing the Jewish community. He was addressing the Muslims, the Arabs, and everyone. So he said, O people, Ayyuhan Nas, Afshu Salam. Spread the peace. This was the message of Prophet Muhammad, the message of Jesus, the message of Noah, and all of the messages of the messengers of God. He said again, and feed the hunger. Reach deep in your pocket and lend a loving hand, a helping hand to the needy, to the orphans, to the refugees, to the immigrants. Again, this was the message of all of the messengers of God. And he said, Wasillul Arham, love and maintain a good relationship with your family members. Hug your children, kiss them, love them, call your parents, don't text them, call them. And then he said, if you do that, Tadkhulun al Jannata bisalam, you will enter into heaven in peace. Again, I want to say Ramadan Mubarak to all of you. May the peace of God be upon all of you. Thank you. One more uh, award commendation that I wanted to give to someone that I really hold he dear, a, a well-respected Somali American leader here in Columbus who has been servicing the Somali community for over 18 years. Uh, so I want to make sure that I give him an award uh, sort of recognizing his work. But before that, I do want to invite a couple of individuals to the stage, hopefully, to stand with me as I give the commendation. So I'm going to call Abdi Adan Gese to come to the stage, uh, and I will invite, uh, the, I'm going to invite Abdi Saeed Afgav to come to the stage real quick. And I'm going to invite Abdul Qadir to Machila. Come to the stage real quick, please, if you don't mind. And I'm going to invite, uh, as well, Adir Indos to come to the stage, please. Uh, let me see who else I'm missing. I think I got everyone. I'm going to get Livan Bulle as well to come to the stage, please. Uh, OK. OK, let me see. I think I got everyone. All right, thank you so much. So I'm going to read the commendation briefly, recognizing the, uh, the Somali community leader. On behalf of members of the House of Representatives for the 135th General Assembly of Ohio, we are pleased to congratulate Namadon Muhammad Hosh Ashkir on receiving the, uh, an outstanding contribution uh, to the Somali Chief Award from the New American Resource Center. You are a remarkable individual combining civic concern, dedication with selfless initiative to become a dynamic local leader, an elder, and organizer. You have served Central Ohio Somali community for over 18 years, assisting with a variety of integration efforts and through your unfaltering devotion to service and achievement, you have distinguished yourself as a conscientious and hardworking Ohioan. Willingly giving your time, energy, and abilities, you have striven to better the world around you, and through your generous contributions, you have earned the respect and esteem of all who know you. We are certain that in the years to come, you will continue to demonstrate the same unwavering commitment to excellence for which you have become known, and you are truly deserving of high praise. Thus, it is with sincere pleasure that we commend you on your recent accolade and salute you as one of Ohio's finest citizens, signed by Representative Ismail Mohammed and Speaker of the House of Representatives Jason Stevens. So please give the round of applause to <laughs> Navadon Mohammed Khadashi. Thank you. 18 years of service, so thank you.
Mamad Satin Davantin and Anwar Mahriya, Elvan Smaid, Mustajab Tal Katimit, Adiyad Ban Mamad Rimia. Thank you, thank you. That's a good photo. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته ولكن شكرا لك الله سبحانه وتعالى مقالة كل ما سهيو هذا وحنقول حسقنا استيد هاوسك وأقل خلاج حكم مقابل كوهايو وأنا مرك أوريس والقوق بتو إفطار أم أفر لوس بيو كمونتيج سوماليد أم كمونتيج مسلمين تا نعكس تيهين وها عاو ميشا نقول اسمه ولكن إسماعيل محمد وويدن إن دورت الاستركتري وحقص وقبل قلي أضيال ودادو رانيرو هويين أبيال يو استيد كده أشقيا وعيكون كراس حلال هيا مرك أد بقروح بنيد إن شاء الله إن مرك أوري سمعنا قندون تو مرك أدنى بسمعنا قندون تو إن شاء الله مرك دمان ولا الله نوا سلام يا سلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته سلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته مقيعي عبد الله قاسم وحاهل كان عاو كوسو جبو جبوي إفطار كأوري أو كده على ستيت هاوس كا سفى عن آت وهير صراحة يود عادي مرك وحاهم فرجينا ياها سنة كان السنة سنة دول بين معناها أي سدا عمل أوري عدون تو إن نكوي كان سنة كان كليا وما سنتين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رمضان مقبول بندي لها مجال عقوا يوسف محمد بيو دجن جوال كوهايو جان هان مجال هذا كلام الصهايو أنت كذب رنتي هدي عن قياسه أما عن كشك درين كي كأدن أفرك ما أنتم نقول اسمي سيد هاوس كا وحنديه لها وطلاب أد ونكسن أهل اللقاء ذي وأنا أفرك جوري لقص اسمي سيد هاوس كا رنتي نوا مالين فرح ديد وي أنا وطن فرح تقلني سو قاصة نتك مسلمين تا مش هم حيسقوي مد أمت بدن أو مسلمين إذا ديوك كلا عيجنا الدماء كلا هيستون نقوي مد وأفرق سوق يبقلي عيجنا كبينا أركان قاب كأنو أفرنا إذا إنه وحكو أجادان أما إكبرتان صانكا أهمية دي سقي ما هو اللي هاي وحنديه لها وقول تاريخي ولا جاري وتلابه هذا لا قاضي رنتين وحنديه لها إسماعيل أو ستيت هاوس كنوفر دي كولومب أوهاي ستيت يا دمان ده كلام مسلمين تا أيجا نمشي كشقي وحن صار أرجع نحفيس هذا وحن صار بوقني وحن كسو ورجع نستيد هاوس كوردن ميلا بدن بعنا لصوت صي لكن واحد وهم هم سنة أو لسقوي مدوح أهد إن استيد هاوس كا يا دمان قبل كو أهاي الديو كلا بلا تسا معنا ده كمسلمين تا إن أي كان كران جول بدن وتاريخ زمان كان أي تاج كران ميلا بدن استيد هاوس ككم ده شقوين بدن أي قبل كران إن لسقوي برتو سوا كلانا لوجش كي مهمة ده والإله ده بشر رمضان أو مدد كمسلمين تا سنة دول بسومان لوجنا شيك يو وحيواه مهم كا بشر رمضان كمسلمين تا قبطان سيد اللوه داعو إن دد كحوض عنان دد كمساكين تا إن وحلا سيو إن دد كمتقع نضير تا لقوديو أو وحلا ترو وحيواه صوتنا بلغة شيك ناي مرك هدي رجع كلا لوه فيرو هدي كلا وقول تاريخية أو دد كمسلمين تا إن أسوه يتكون الجبل كوهايو at the same time we have to go to the Somali or Kenya دد كسومالية الجبل كان دجن أيقو مرة ولا بوتاعنا إن أي الباب والبقرة عن سيد أي دديوه كلا قبل كده جن أي أتصل هاي نقنك يدين تا أنت وإن أي تهاي وحمهما أو ضد كأي متقنك وأدقين وأنا ما سنتها.